wasteland, radiation affecting everyone. Hold it right there, stranger. Excuse the pointed gun routine, but I'm not expecting a caravan today. So, why don't you tell me what you're doing here? I'm here to help you. Oh, help! I see. Is this the part where you helpfully donate some bullets? Maybe, maybe re relieve me of the burden of wealth, as if I didn't have enough... Wait, you actually sound like... Like you mean that? Oh, uh, I'll be. Did, did the did the Ron actually send you? That's right. Great. And here I thought you were another problem walking in, but it turns out you're here to help. Huh, I I have to admit I'm a bit embarrassed about the the gun now. I'll just uh, put that away now. Whoop. Well, let's uh, let's get inside before it gets more awkward. Uh, my wife's better at making guests feel welcome after I uh, pointed a gun at them. The mistress came up with the plan, and she told Manta-Man -Man exactly what he needed to do. Super secret submarines, a cruise ship, and the mistress of mysteries. <laughs> now I know why you like this one so much. And there are the two lovely ladies of our humble manor. Jules, Katie, I have good news for a change. Looks like we have a place to relocate after all. Oh, thank God. I mean, welcome to our home. Make yourself comfortable. Can I offer you something to drink? Not sure if you'll like what's on offer, though. I've got fermented brain fungus beer, or glowing mushroom tea with an extra kick to it. Though, I guess it's kind of an acquired taste. Are you even thirsty? I probably should have checked first. Why don't you just tell me about yourself? I'll take that as a no. 
Well, we farm fungus. We also eat it. When a caravan passes by, we also sell it. It kept us afloat for a while, and now it isn't anymore, which is why we'd like to move. We wouldn't be able to grow anything here at all if it weren't for our Brahmin Nessie. But even Brahmin cra fertilizer will only get you so far. I'm good for now. Thanks. Probably for the best. It's still experimental. Brain fungus is either chewy like rubber or hard as a brick. The sweet spot between those is tricky. I suppose I should keep the glowing mushrooms for Radaway. If we're moving out this soon, mm, we'll need it for the trip. All right, that concludes the introductions, the tour, and the formal welcome dinner. Short and sweet. Not much to look at, I know, but she's been home to us for a long time. I guess now that you're here, we'll be moving on soon. We started preparing weeks ago, when we uh, realized that the last crop wasn't gonna get us through the next season. Still a couple things left to pack, though. Uh, if, if you're feeling impatient, ask Jules. She'll know what still needs to be done. You need anything from me? You ready to head out? Uh, mentally, no, but... Sentiment doesn't make the crop come in any better. Trust me, I've tried that and about a million other things. If you're itching for something to do to speed things up, ask Jules. She can get particular about the order things get packed in. Excuse me. We're all eager to get going. We've got most of our things packed up besides what had to wait until the last minute. But the biggest problem right now is that my... I mean... Our Brahmin, Nessie, got out of her pen last night and, and, and wandered off. Any chance you could lend a hand and go search for her while we wrap up here? We should be ready to go once you're back. Alright, I'll do it. Great. Brahmin are creatures of habit. She probably wandered to her favorite pastures by sunshine tidings. You could check there first. Maybe look around for a bit? I doubt she went far. And watch out for blood bugs. Season's coming in early with the rains. I sprayed Nessie with repellent two days ago, but it wears off eventually. It's why I'm so worried about her. Excuse me. I'm Katie. Mom says we're going to come live in your settlement. I hope it's not in a cave. <laughs> Dad says it's safer, but Mom kind of hates it. They both really want to leave soon, but another day won't hurt them, right? Nice to meet you. You too. So, are we leaving right away? You sure you don't want to rest or something? Dad says there are two types of people, intruders and guests. And if you're in here, you're a guest. But Mom says guest is someone who eats our food, drinks our water, takes our supplies, and then tells the raiders where we are. isn't at Sunshine Tidings. Do you know where she's gone? <laughs> yeah, and it won't be in the pasture. Franklin the Martian took her. He's an alien, so he likes studying Earth things, like giddy-up buttercup toys, comic books, and Brahmin. I'm sure he didn't hurt her, 
So you'll just have to go and ask him to give her back, and he will. Who is this guy? Franklin. He's from Mars. Has a spacesuit and a ray gun, but the gun is just for bad people. Raiders don't like aliens any more than Earthlings, so he needs the gun, but he doesn't use it on friends, I swear. And definitely not on Brahmin. If he knew we need Nessie today, he wouldn't have took her. Uh, sure. Okay. I know how it sounds, really. I wouldn't tell you if I didn't have to. You know, to keep him safe. But I don't want to leave without Nessie. Will you go? I wrote you a note to give to him, so he'll know you're a friend and that I sent you. Okay, what's really going on here? Well, maybe Franklin didn't really take her himself. I just wanted to help him. Mom always talks about how special Nessie is. So I thought, if aliens want to study Brahmin, then they should study the best one around. Maybe even clone her. How cool would that be? No problem. I'll bring her back. Okay. <sighs> I wasn't sure if you'd believe me. I'd go and get her myself, but you heard my dad. Take this note and he'll know I sent you. Franklin lives under the old ranger shack. Nessie is super safe with him, but mom and dad really want to leave soon, so we need her back. It's not far. I can show you where on your map. And you don't have to be scared of him. He's a very nice alien. And remember, no need to hurt him. He's nice.
interloper. In your ignorance, you have invaded the sovereign territory of Mars. I am bound by honor to give you one warning before I take you to the Galactic Court by force. If you resist, I will be forced to use lethal force. Who are you supposed to be? I see your underdeveloped cranium is having trouble beholding the sight in front of it. I am proud citizen and soldier of Mars. And my name, translated to your primitive language, is Franklin. Easy. I just want to talk. Ah, invoking the interstellar right of ambassadorship. Very well. You may make your case for your presence. Be warned. Transgressing against the sacred ceasefire will trigger the electro-neuromagnetic traps that will boil the brain of any human in the room. Come on, don't bullshit me. It, but you're only a human. What could you possibly know of our technology? I have something for you. What's this? You have an offering for me? Usually humans bring me items for study. Not scribblings. Wait. Katie? She's... leaving? But I... I mean... I see the Chief Ambassador has... has... Uh, forget it. No point in keeping up the act now, I guess. It works better on children and kenned out raiders anyway. So... Katie couldn't come out here herself. And that's why she sent you, Vanessi. Hold on, I have some questions first. After that performance, I figured you would. Go ahead and ask then. Who are you? I'm Franklin, and I'm actually from a marsh, not Mars. But Katie misheard me. I mostly made a living selling salvage. But I didn't have much luck with that. People saw my face or heard my voice, and I'd be lucky not to get chased out with bullets. Always been like that. Then the little lady saw me one day, and instead of screaming ghoul, she called me an alien and asked me if I was looking for things to study. I figured being an alien couldn't be worse than being a ghoul. Turns out it's better. Safer, and even profitable. First, Katie started bringing me food and junk to trade. Then a caravaneer stoned out on Kem's bought into it, and now I practically have a brand going. What's with the outfit? It's just some old gear. Katie was the one who called it a spacesuit. I modified the gun to fit the image afterwards. Katie's got a big imagination, but at least she treats me like a person, even if she thinks I'm from another planet. She even wanted to draw a comic book of me someday. The super awesome galactic adventures of Franklin the Martian and Katie the Human. Um, I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. Katie. Brought her here to play alien experiments on her own, I swear. Didn't know she'd bring me a whole cow after I told her to stop looking for scrap. She lost track of time and had to run home, so she said she'd be back for Nessie soon. Then, I guess you showed up and she got locked down. That's all I needed to know. Hope that clears things up. So, was I right about you getting sent here for Nessie? That's right. The smelly thing is all yours. Good thing you came. I don't know how much longer I could stand around smelling her fertilizer. And, uh, sorry for the act earlier. I've gotten kind of used to it, but I guess it won't be the same without Katie around. 
Doesn't like me very much after some of the experiments Katie thought would be fun to play at. But she should follow you back to the farm without a fuss. I'll miss Katie. Take care of her and her family, will ya? Do you want to set up a permanent shop? I know the perfect place. For real? I didn't expect you to say that. But a permanent place sounds amazing. Yeah, I can see it now. Franklin's Fine Martian Wares. Or Franklin's Emporium of Galactic... No, too long. You've got yourself a deal, human. Franklin? From Mars? I guess I can see it with the, uh, the suit and the eyes and the gun. Uh, yeah. It's not really true. I'm a ghoul and not an alien, as you can see. I'm sorry for lying, Katie. It's all right. I already knew that. I'm not dumb, you know. I've seen nice ghouls before, but it was so much fun to play, wasn't it? You're a smart kid, Katie. I guess... I guess I needed to believe I was Franklin from Mars. More than you did. Uh, this is all very nice, but what about my... our Nessie? She's back in her pen, safe and sound. And I'm sorry for taking her in the first place. I was going to... Franklin! Don't say that! Mom, Dad, I was the one that took Nessie out of her pen. I tried to go and get her back, but you wouldn't let me go. And you should have told us that right away. What were you thinking? I was worried sick about her. Mr. Franklin, thank you for keeping Nessie safe and bringing her back. Well, I'm not sure how I feel about you playing aliens with my daughter. She is a very special cow. In fact, if you figure out how to make her milk glow, maybe we could team up. And things that glow sell faster. Glowing Brahmin milk? Improbable, but I doubt anyone's tried before. I thank you, thank you, around. thank you! I never thought I'd say this, but I'm glad she was abducted by an alien instead of wandering off by herself. And Franklin is... interesting. I always knew Katie was too smart to get that carried away with make-believe, but I wasn't expecting this. He's definitely on to something with his branding, though. I've seen caravans cash out for less. I'll definitely talk more with him on the road. Speaking of, we're all packed up and ready. Are you all set?
Anything else I can do to help? Nothing besides the heavy lifting. And that's Nessie's job now that we have her back. We're all set otherwise. How about you? Absolutely. I'm ready to go. So, where are we heading? Anyway, <laughs> true superheroes never ask for a reward, but they always deserve it. I went and grabbed all this stuff from my secret hiding spot for you. Here. <clears throat> Franklin from my... Amazing Super Awesome Adventures is probably too long for one cover. This is hard. Bob's always been my love, but Nessie's always been Julia's. The only real experiment she gets to do these days. Is the Martian gonna be our new neighbor? I like, definitely feel boring by comparison. 